Wisdom Zordlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers, welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Meow. Tanya Lasagna back again, layering together all the nodal noodles and celestial sauce into something digestible. And today we are discussing it, the Leo New Moon. Yes, it has perfected already. Yes, I am a day late with this video. Get on over it with your bad self because it is in full-fledged effect for the next two weeks until our next lunation. And my friends, we are going to be following up this video with a part two for all my groovy Capricorn new moon friends who were saying they wanted another video. Super sorry I didn't get that out until now, but I'm going to be doing like a moon in partnership series or I don't know what I'm calling it, but maybe I'll make it a regular thing. Maybe it's just going to be for this lunation set, but kind of like a moon set dynamic uh, reflection on the new and the full moon where we'll discuss how the latest new and full moon relate to one another. So yeah, if you're into that, stay tuned. And before I get started, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, because I do put out content on the regular like this video, if it brings you any value whatsoever, because it helps the channel grow. And last but not least, if you're looking for a personal birth chart consultation, that's actually where I find some of the most value in my astrology work, because I help y'all see things that you might not already see or what's actually most validating about that is that I help you see things that you already do peep but put it in a different context for you so you can check out my website I will be putting up a bunch of reviews there um, that I've gotten over the years that I just haven't <laughs> put up there soon so it's wisdomdropsastrology.com link is down below all right so this is a new moon in leo New moons are obviously new beginnings. You've heard everybody say that for like a hundred years because that's just the world of astrology. And, you know, what's really interesting about the new moons and the, the full moons, as it may be, in the signs of Cancer and Leo is that these are the only signs that actually are ruled by the two planets that constitute new moons or full moons. They are the luminary signs in that regard. They hold the luminary planets. And I'm still working on that recorded astrology school program for y'all. And it will be available for like an outrageously affordable price. Something like 500 bucks to learn astrology. That's crazy. So stay tuned for all that, y'all. Anyways, the thing that I want to bring up with that, though, and really kind of hit home with for y'all is that it's a new moon in Leo. And that means that not only is the moon there, but so is the sun. And the sun being the ruling planet of Leo, after all, that's like a big deal, right? Because anytime you have a lunation, that's fancy astrologer talk for new or full moon, right? In the sign that the dispositor, which is the word for the ruling planet of any given sign, that is a big deal. When you have a new or full moon in a sign and also is at the same time in that sign, that sign's ruling planet, it gives that new moon or full moon, in this case a new moon, a little bit more zhuzh, a little bit more oomph, a little bit more significance. So if you're sitting there like, yo, I've been really feeling these vibes. I don't really know what's what with the what, but I do know that I'm feeling the vibes. Then that's probably why. Another thing to think about with all that is that if you are feeling things from the heart and you know they're from the heart and you're kind of like tuning into that for maybe like the first time or the first time in a long time, then this is probably another kind of indicator that you're really just feeling that new moon and Leo vibe. And by the end of this video, I'm going to cover the top three things that I recommend you do to kind of maximize, maximize your uh, full moon, excuse me, your new moon potency or medicine or like co-creation with this new moon in Leo. And I think the first one is really kind of obvious, but if you haven't heard it already elsewhere, it's really a listen to your heart uh, message because, you know, cancer, you're always going to hear me say, listen to your gut. And that's because cancer rules the gut, right? But when it comes to Leo, Leo literally rules the heart in the human body or in the body in general. And so thinking about that, how can you listen better to your heart? How can you tune in to whatever it is that your personal heart is trying to tell you? What is, you know, coming clear to me at this time for all of us, I think, is that whatever you're really feeling in your heart chakra or your just your sense of heart in general is going to be what you're really 
supposed to, for lack of better words, pay attention to. Um, it's the guidance that you're supposed to follow. Maybe it's not as much of an energy thing as it is, you know, just the sensation in your heart. Or maybe it is an energy thing for you. Everybody's different and everybody experiences these lunations differently. But whatever the heart is telling you, it's a good time to listen to it. Another thing to say with that is put your hand over your heart and allow yourself to just vibe there for a second and really like sit with it. Just sit with what the heart says. Okay. Okay, great. Moving on. I think Leo is all about identity. Everybody always says Leo is about love and romance and creativity, of course. But, you know, an Aries is, of course, the I am kind of, you know, sign because Aries is all about standing up for something. It is the self, but you can't get away from it in any of the fire signs. All of the fire signs are really like these identity driven or identity strong signs, right? These identity energy um, kind of beings. And even when you think of like a Sagittarius, you might not associate people with a strong sense of ego or whatever with Sagittarius, or maybe you do, because let's be real, there are plenty of Sagittarius out there who are like, yeah, bask in my light, you know, but notice Sagittarius got light shit. <laughs> but, you know, with that said, it's like, they're still always about their own identity because what they're actually following is their own folly or their own fire, or their own adventure, as it may be. And all three of those things are just words to describe the fire modal or the fire um, kind of element, you know, in astrology. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, I choked on my own spit. Don't y'all love that? So anyway, though, with that, I think that the Leo people out there right now, and everybody, regardless of your sign, it's a good time for you to really tune in to your sense of self. What is it about yourself that you're really tuning into right now? Maybe you're exploring, <clears throat> excuse me, more gifts or your gifts, or maybe you're realizing the light that you do have to bring to the world. Maybe you're coming into an awareness that no matter how messed up this world is, all you can do is provide, you know, yourselves and others with whatever it is that you do provide to yourself and others that you can gift this world. Because regardless of who you are, we're all just one person. Some people reach fame where they have millions of people listening to everything they say. They have perceivedly more influence than other people. But that's not the end all be all game. That's not the thing that ultimately wins you know in terms of what is valuable you can make way more impact in a single person's life than the shallow impact that some people that rise to that level of famedom make in millions of people's lives so it's really up to you as to how you choose to live your life and ultimately regardless of how many people or at what scale or whatever you know what you put forward is your own reflection and by that, what I mean is what you put forward on a daily basis, you could be really struggling, you could be really thriving, whatever that case is, the wind just came to agree with me if you don't see that right now. But whatever that is, you put forward a reflection of your own inner sense of self. And you could be responding from a place of insecurity to the world, you could be responding from a place of lack of self-love from the world, and those things can cause really painful results. They can cause additional trauma for others. You could be doing the bidding of somebody with less than good intentions for the world or for an individual or for a group of people. And, you know, you could be really finding yourself disconnected from that, which is sacred in the process. But on the flip side, you could be taking a stance and being brave and saying, you know what, I decided this isn't right. Or, you know what, I decided I'm going to go this way because it feels more in tune with what I'm here to do. And no matter how small you may feel, you can pick up the phone uh, from the universe, from the sun itself at this point in time, under this influence of this Leo new moon. And you can say, you know what, son, I'm going to pick up the call. I'm going to say, hey, this is the time, okay, to make a difference. This is the time to answer the call of justice or the call of love, as Leo stands for. Leo is the yang to Aquarius's yin. So you might be finding yourself in opposition right now to some really interesting 
um, kind of technical stuff. There is a lot going on with Uranus in the sign of Taurus at this time. I think there's a lot of energy there between Mars and the North Node. There's just a lot of energy there. So I would just say to everybody out there, follow your heart and go ahead and follow the message that you personally are receiving and also pick up the cosmic line, my friends, pick up the cosmic line to the universe and be like, hey, universe, I'm here. I picked up the phone and I'm ready for whatever task that you spirit, you great spirit, you goddess and God, creator, Jesus, whatever, whoever you pray to that you believe is true and pure and beautiful and of love, whatever force you identify and associate with that energy, that is the source, that is the the entity that you want to listen to at this time. That is the call that you should pick up at this time. So I would just suggest that's, you know, the number two suggestion is pick up the call from the universe. Allow your light to shine. I really love and vibe with that song. I feel like I'm always like this little light of mine. Like, I just think it's so cool because I'm going to let it shine. Like everybody should let their light shine. And Leo is all about that at the highest level. So you should like really listen to yourself when you recognize under the next two weeks, right? Under this cosmic influence, where your light is when you start to realize that I want every single one of you watching this to lean into that. And not only that, I want to, I'm just going to dare you. I'm going to dare you to ask somebody else in your life to identify that for themselves under the influence of the next two weeks and ask them, ask those people in your life to lean into that, to let their little light shine. You know what I mean? Because if we all, millions of us, if a hundred of us who see this video, whatever, if we all encourage another single person and we do that for ourselves first and two as well, right? We can make that own little ripple. We can have that ripple in the world where if we're encouraging ourselves and others to really lean into our own glory that we as individuals have, then we are in fact honoring the Leo vibration. Aquarius is about the collective. I'm not saying don't forget the collective. What I'm saying is this is a time to honor thyself. It's a time to acknowledge where you've been. And while we're going to get into this in the next video where we're doing the, you know, the moon reflection series or whatever over the new moon and the full moon, because this is a really strong message for that. But I'll just say here in reflection of the last Capricorn full moon, we're coming off of this legacy awareness. And now we're back into this awareness of self. Because Leo is very personal, even though it's not Aries, the sign of self per se, it's the sign of divine light, which we all carry as incarnate beings, you feel. So I think that that's number two, definitely lean into your own light, encourage another person to do the same, acknowledge it, write a list and burn it if you want to honor the element of fire, um, do, do it under the waxing moon, beautiful time to do it, right? Bring more of that energy in for yourself. Another thing I would say like the third thing to do or just to consider is that Leo is very selfish per se in a worst case and in a best case it's self-oriented but Leo is really at the end of the day it's about their love so love is not just for themselves but it's a self um, it's a personal experience to a Leo Leo's really experienced love from you know and I'm a fire moon so I can I feel like I can kind of speak for that a little bit but I really do believe that love is like as selfless as you can be in love as a fire sign with granted so many factors in any given person's chart right Leo love is very personal so Leo's always love from their heart like every sign really because love is love is from the heart right but the thing is though is that Leo's really feel it like when they love somebody or something they feel it in a personal sort of way where they can then have empathy for others because they themselves feel that feeling so personally and completely over their entire body or embodiment as it may be. And once they are like in that vibe themselves where their whole body is like kind of taken over with that feeling or their heart chakra is just spinning so greatly where they're like, oh my gosh, I'm like really in love with this concept or this person or you know, the situation, or it might be an aspect of, yes, themselves as a Leo, right? It's like, from that point, it seems selfish to other signs because it feels like so personal or it feels like they're focusing on themselves in that experience. 
but you have to realize y'all that's how like that's how people who are fire signs and that's how leos especially that's how they relate with the world that's how they relate with the world and that's how they relate with the just the incarnation in general it's through a self experience and it's not wrong if you think about it nothing could be more accurate as we've all incarnated as individuals i mean you know i could hear a water sign out there being like click or being like but wait you know that's actually inaccurate cuz we're all so totally connected at the end of the day and that's the truest of the truths and i'll be like yes i hear you but at the same time i'm still going to take a stance and say but not nah, because fire signs are all about the personal experience of selfdom and you incarnate in an individual body. That's probably why the Buddhist said life is suffering because you're just alone in that regard. Like you can be with people, you can build community, you can have friends, but at the end of the day, you're alone. Like they say, live alone, die alone or, or uh, yeah. Right. Like be birthed alone, die alone. It's like, there is some truth to that. There is some truth to that. Right. And that's because we all come into these isolated vessels. So fire signs, Leo, Leo energy is about the personal experience. So I think like the third thing I want to do is just encourage y'all to really feel okay with acknowledging your personal experience, especially all my empaths out there who are usually the people who make it this far into the video because you're really trying to take away the like spiritual wisdom and like the benefit of everything, you know, I would just say for y'all, like all my empathic people out there, all of my like not narcissistic, like the exact opposite of narcissist people out there. I want to encourage you in particular, right? I want you to allow yourself to just honor your own personal experience, your own personal perspective. And, you know, it ties back to the first thing I said, but yeah, your own personal heart in all of this. And really just lean into yourself, lean into your experience, lean into the ability to, to be an individual, to be a free agent. And the part of the beauty of Leo is that it is the free agent. Aquarius is all about the collective. So it's either collective diabolical stuff or it's collective liberation stuff. But Leo has this power of just being a source of light. And if you look at the sun, y'all, I don't know if you can see the sun right now, if it's going to just glare out or whatever. It is so freaking beautiful. Look at the life it creates. You know what I mean? Look at the beauty that the sun can produce. You know, like the sun is life. Without the sun, we wouldn't exist. We need the sun. We need the stars, you know? So I guess what I'm saying is honor that in yourself and do it justice. Don't do it a narcissistic, like, you know, selfish, it's all about me, you know, kind of thing. Like there's so many people plagued with that these days, I feel. But like really do that justice. Do the sense of identity justice. Don't shame the ego. The ego exists for a reason. The ego is there so that you understand that you have an opportunity to provide. You have an opportunity to give. You have an opportunity to shine and to produce a form of light in this world. Don't be a shadow caster. You know what I'm saying? The light can get uh, distorted. And when you start being so selfish that you forget the sense of warmth is not about just the sake of being glorious, but being glorious for the sake of nurturing and warming and protecting and giving life to others, then that's when we get into trouble. But really what I'm saying is honor your own inner light and... I'm just going to say it again, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. That's what I want you to do, okay? Let it shine. Because the Leo new moon is all about new beginnings, and you got to live that new beginning in a way that honors your own inner divine spark. And a Leo new moon is really a great time to do that, y'all. I hope this video brought you value. I know the audio and the video seem to have gotten a little unsynced in my recording here. Probably something to do with my mobile phone reception. Um, I hope it wasn't too annoying for y'all. I hope you still got to enjoy the prairie a little bit with me. And make sure you like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you resonate with my messages, consider reading with me um, or just share this with another person in your life. And thank you so much for all your support and love and comments down below. With that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.